How did your story begin? Was your story written from birth? Does where you live, your parents' wealth, or indeed lack of it, determine the life that lies ahead of you? If you are born in Sub-Saharan Africa, then the probability that you will die before your fifth birthday is almost 17 times greater than if you are born in a developed country. Is education a right or a privilege? Globally, at least 250 million children are failing to acquire the basic literacy skills needed to fully participate and contribute, actually, in society. What about access to shelter, a roof over our heads and a place to call home? Countries across the world are struggling to build enough genuinely affordable homes. There's a need to transform the way we think about construction and adaptation of existing housing stocks. Can austerity measures, which may appear gender neutral, actually increase gender inequality? A long history of research shows that women bear the brunt of economic crises, that the gaps created by a retreating welfare state are typically filled by women. There are aspects of society we just accept, inequalities that aren't challenged. There's growing evidence that economic growth alone doesn't reduce poverty. We need to find ways to spread the benefits of increasing prosperity fairly across society. At Manchester, we endeavour to ask why, to research, challenge perspectives and understand the world within which we all live out our own stories. Through the study of natural and built environments, educational disadvantage, poverty and inequality, we, in the School of Environment, Education and Development, strive to address the greatest challenges of our time. We aspire to write a new story, a better story, to create a future world with greater economic prosperity and social justice for all.